guys, Genma the Samurai here, and welcome to uh, this bonus part of uh, Metroid Prime. So, um, I don't know if you noticed already, but I'm doing um, a small little playtest through using the Fusion Suit um, from Metroid Fusion. Um, you basically unlock it if you have a copy of Metroid Fusion and you link it up to your GameCube. In the Wii version, you can get it really easy if you, like, be in the game and you spend, like, achievement coins on it. Yeah, you get that stuff. I'll go into that when I, um, uh, do a part on the Wii port. Um, but anyway, yeah. So, I'm just gonna escape from here. Um, yeah. Um, sorry that you're not really seeing much of the fusion suit right now. I wanted to do this at a point where I could just kind of show things off, and I figured this was a pretty good point to start just here, scooping the brigade. Um, so, yeah, let's move forward. Okay, to the parasites. <laughs> So yeah, um, I started to elaborate in the last part, but due to, like, uh, time constraints, I didn't really get to discuss this, so I might as well now. Uh, about my opinion of this game versus Super Metroid, and I know some people have brought this up before, and I said, um, that I like this game more than Super Metroid, and, um, it's kind of a similar argument to, like, what you could say between, uh, A Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time is that this was the pioneering Metroid game that, you know, took this into 3D and stuff. And if you want an example of a game that, you know, tried to, you know, become, you know, a, a different example of a 3D Metroid game and kind of failed, that would be Other M. Um, in the case of this game, it, it just does so many things right. Like, I, I consider this a much harder thing to decide than, say, Ocarina and Link to the Past, at least in my eyes. Um, some people would say, you know, the other way around, but, um, to kind of, like, say that, I mean, with Super Metroid is that it is nonetheless amazing, but, um, it feels, um, kind of like a game in, in a way that, like, the you are exploring these areas, and they do look cool, but you don't feel drawn into the experience, which is the whole, is, which I consider a crucial part to what Metroid is. And Metroid Prime brilliantly does it through, you know, the scan logs and the way the environment interacts with you, the player, and all these other really neat things, and I don't know. Anyway, there you go, that's the fusion suit. Um, if you're familiar with it and you're wondering why it's uh, yellow, that's the various suit um, design. Because when you start off this game, you have the various suits, so it, you know, keeps that coloring. And it is my least favorite suit of the Metroid Fusion game. Um, I don't think that bright yellow really appeals to me at all. I, d I just don't like the various suit in Metroid Fusion. Um, I like the gravity suit in the regular suit because I think they complement the colors better. I just don't like the various suit in Metroid Fusion. Um, but anyway. We're gonna be seeing the regular Fusion suit, which I like more, so... Let's see the little explosion take away the various suit, thank god. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. The fusion suit looks a little weird in this game. Like, it's a completely aesthetic thing. Like, it doesn't change anything about the gameplay at all, but, um... I really like the, like, various suit, but it, or the fusion suit, but it's very different from the regular power suit in the fact that it's supposed to look more organic. And so, there's a whole lot of programming around that they obviously have to do to make it look less reflecty in the regular suit, you know what I mean? Um, so that becomes a bit of an issue. Um, but regardless, I think it turned out to be neat. So, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's still got a bit of the reflectees, especially with the yellow parts underneath. It's, it's never been really that clear exactly what the fusion suit is supposed to be like. So I guess, considering what they had to work with, actually I think it turned out pretty well. Um, and it actually doesn't look that bad in 3D. 
again, though, I do have to say, um, why hasn't there been another Metroid game that has continued the storyline? Like, it, this is a bit of a tangent, but, um, Metroid has kind of, like, stopped moving forward. Like, the Prime games were placed between Prime 1 and 2, um, and that's partly because they wanted to keep the, you know, the iconic Varia suit design. Um, as well as, you know, Metroid being around. But in the case of Metroid Fusion, though, like, that was one where her entire design changed. And it is the only game to do that. And so there's not been a single Metroid game past Metroid Fusion. So I can only assume it's because they don't want to change her suit design or something, but... Um, due to how iconic, you know, the various suit is. It may sound ridiculous to some people, but for a company like Nintendo that, you know, is known for making games that, you know, do connect with each other, wow, does the fusion suit look so good in this. <laughs> like, oh, uh, but yeah, um, I don't know. Regardless, uh, I've shown a lot, but... I might play for a little bit longer just what my thoughts are on. Um, overall, you know, this is pretty, like, this is one of my favorite games, just ever. Um, I think my opinion of it has actually grown a bit now that I've done this LP of it. Um, I will have to play Prime 2 in the future, um, and see what I think of, uh, that game, returning to it. Um, I, I will have to pick up a copy. I will be doing Ocarina of Time next. Um, after I finish, like, you know, doing these bonus parts. And I might take a week off, you know, for school reasons. Um, and man, the fusion suit actually does look pretty good on the original. Like, the re-releases, especially when you play the Wii port on the Wii U. The increase in texture resolution really brings out some of the graphical flaws, I have to say. <laughs> um, regardless. Okay, I know. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, since I'm just doing this just to showcase, you know, the fusion suit, I'm not really bothering with, uh, you know, all this other stuff. Um, yeah. Let's move forward, up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs, up the stairs. Yeah. And then there'll be another little funny thing at the end of this part, um, that I'll showcase. Um, but I think I'll go collect, like, the missile tank. Maybe head to Magvor Cavern. <laughs> there are a few things I definitely did not showcase, for good reason. Um, but, regardless... Let's move forward. Oh, God. What was hitting me? I don't even... Okay. Boy, I don't care. I know there's a save station there. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> well, I mean, unlike Ocarina of Time, and again, this is one reason why this is much closer than I would say with, like, um, Super Metroid and Ocarina. It, it, or Super Metroid and, you know, Metroid Prime, compared to Ocarina and Link to the Past. So, I mean, as much as I think Ocarina of Time is better just because of its ability to leave an impact on the player versus, you know, just being a well-designed game, like, th there's a time and place for both. But I, again, like I said, I think Ocarina leaves more of an impact, you know. Um, again, I've watched a lot of uh, sequelitis videos and people's opinions on sequelitis <laughs> but um yeah i don't know if i ever had like the editing technique and the time i would consider doing a sequelitis of super metroid and metroid prime like a standing one you know yeah i know Jeez. all right Yeah, this is how much faster things move along if you don't care to scan everything. Again, you can't get the 100% ending. 
it's actually not that great of a reward as you saw. It's just like a tiny little clip. Um, as your percent ratio goes up, actually you get different segments of the ending. So say you have like under 60%. Um, you see Samus remove her helmet, but you don't get the close up. And then that's like the most you see. You just kind of get taken to the credits, you know what I mean? Um, so... Yeah, there, there, there's little rewards or whatever. So everything does add up at the end, I guess. Like, there is no, like, single secret ending. Like, it just kind of adds on. Kind of similar to... Eh, actually, no. I think it's a little better than Kingdom Hearts with it. Um, but still. But, come on. Yeah. Jeez. Where are you? Come on. There we go. Not a hard boss. I'm also not playing on hard mode this time, so. <laughs> yeah, I can't turn into Morph Ball, that's right. Uh, this is point. Missile launcher acquired. <laughs> Get that, come on. Energy tank. Yeah, I can probably hear my controller clicking like crazy. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, I also recorded a bad game with friends video recently. Um, and I have to actually like contact uh, Chris about that soon. Um, there's, there's some complications with it, like one, the recorded footage was taken on an SD card that's kind of faulty. Like maybe if I can get a working extension thing going on, but... Come on, open, open, there we go. Come on. Yeah, I've been in this game a lot of times so if you guys are wondering how I can be so like informative and junk it's because I've played this game too much <laughs> um, there's a number of games I can say I do that Ocarina of Time is another one um, but come on get out of the way there we go this looks bad um, I don't know why I'm caring about that like I probably should just keep moving but well, now that I have missiles I don't I'll get the Morph Ball just so I can show the Morph Ball. Why should I? I'll just head to Magmar Caverns. <laughs> um, just so you can see how quickly you die if you don't have, like, the various suit. Or if it'll let me. I actually can't remember. I think I only attempted that, like, once. Um, actually, I should save first if I'm going to do tread like that. <laughs> Okay, get out my face. Wow, that was a lot of enemies. Okay, I'm gonna go save real quick. Um, I mean, not that I'm really gonna be picking this up again, but <laughs> at least not for this. Maybe a live stream. Actually, um, let me do it again. I, I forgot. Oh yeah, the extra life campaign or whatever. I'm wondering, because I was thinking maybe, but I don't have a very big viewer base at all. So I'm wondering what your guys' thoughts are about that, you know? Um, should I really do that? I mean, I, I don't know what games I would play specifically. I could play this, you know, um, see how fast I could beat this. Um, but again, I'd have to play for like 24 hours straight, so there's that. <laughs> um, I don't know. You guys can tell me your thoughts. Um, yeah. So let's move up there, and we'll be heading back to Talon Overworld. Woo! Oh yeah. <laughs> um... So, I don't know. I'm more or less going to end on a suicide attempt. <laughs> yeah. Because if you don't have the various suit, Magmar Caverns pretty much will kill you. Just the heat there. 
Let me see how far I can get before, you know, the heat just destroys me. It'll be like Metro Prime 2. <laughs> you wonder what I mean by that, uh... Whenever I get to that game, you'll understand what I mean. Um, Metro Prime 2 is not a bad game. It's just tense. It is incredibly tense. Right. It's so weird playing this without taking the time to scan everything, guys. It really does. They feel kind of liberating though at the same time. Come on. Right, wait for that pass. Okay. Shoot this. Right, so, um, I don't know too many people that probably would explore over here. I'm sure there would be a number of people that would be like, oh yeah, no, I remember this locked door. Maybe I can go open that now, but. Um, you're really not supposed to go this way yet, but if you, if you feel obliged to, you can. <laughs> okay, let's go. I'm gonna freaking die. Actually, I would be surprised if it doesn't. But regardless. Okay. Here we are, Magmore Cavern. Okay, as soon as I step out of either of these doors. <laughs> oh boy, okay. Oh, I don't even have the Morph Ball. Either way, I'm screwed this pathway. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, man. No, I'm not going to. Okay, so, yeah. That's what happens if you go into places without the various suit. Um, so, yeah, that showed that. Now to show the other thing as soon as this moves forward. Yeah, Coca-Cola. Right. Let's go into the menu here. And down here, Metroid Fusion Connection Bonuses. So again, um, this is the spot where you turn on the, um, you know, the suit. Um, but another neat thing is the NES Metroid. I'm gonna die, by the way. I have beaten this game, somehow. Um, but it is hard. Like, if you guys think that Zelda 1 is hard, then you have not played this game. <laughs> um, I mean, this game isn't as hard as Zelda 2. It's actually... I mean, I, I have some problems with this game. One is that if you notice how my health starts at 30, that is every time you die. You have the capacity for 99. It's not like your energy tanks are drop to like 30 capacity and the game is balanced towards it no you like right there see you can collect up to 99 at any point you just start with 30 regardless of anything and it's really darn frustrating at least it does save a lot of stuff but i don't think it ever really makes up for it um i don't know <laughs> just keep moving forward see how long i last with this game yeah, yeah, okay. Come on. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah. All right. Come on. Ugh. All right. Yeah, the only weird thing about this is that um, the D-pad on the GameCube kind of sucks, so you're probably going to be relying on the analog stick a lot more. Um, thankfully, the GameCube analog has, like, those little eight notches on it, so it's not, like, as bad as if you were playing with, like, a PS2 analog where you can't really get a feel for those directions, you know what I mean? Um, but it is still a pain. 
Um, well, I think this actually controls better than the um, Wii U D-pad for some strange reason. Because, I mean, that's what I used to, like, because uh, I played this through on the Wii U. And actually, this doesn't control that bad. Um, so, I don't know. I think this looks better on this, too, for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, that's blocky. So anyway, let's just keep moving forward. Uh, I don't know how long I'm gonna be playing because it seems like I might actually survive for quite a bit. So uh, weird. Um, left. Come on. Right. So somewhere up here is a doorway that will take me over to where like the missiles are. Yeah. Um, well, not this doorway, but leads me over there. Yeah, I know old games, guys. I know old games. <laughs> I bet you guys didn't expect to see this in Metroid Prime. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I guess actually some real talk here. So, if you guys are wondering why my uh, my Let's Play videos are so in informational, is that... Um, I do enjoy game reviews a lot, but I kind of get this feeling that when it comes to game reviews is that there's things that reviews can't always discuss, you know what I mean? Um, so I mean, one thing that I appreciate about like some of Markiplier's older videos and stuff, not so much now, but like some of the other stuff where they play these games and then they kind of give their thoughts at the end, and you notice I do that. Um, so, I don't know. When I when I do these games, it kind of gives me the opportunity to discuss, you know, my thoughts about a game, you know, when it while it's happening, you know, um, which which in itself can be flawed, you know, heat of the moment and all that. And I don't always do that. Like I notice with my Megaman Zero LP, for some reason, I'm a lot less um, informational. But then again, I'm super focused when I'm doing that. So. I don't know. Oh, I took the wrong one. This one leads down to, uh... You know I did, because I have the missiles. Okay, I'm heading back, because there's the long beam. Yeah, this is the one incredibly BS thing about this game. Oh god. No, 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 no! Okay. So there you go, guys. So thank you guys for watching. Tune in to the next bonus part for um, the Wii port of Metroid Prime. Alright, have a good day. Bye.